Hey, hey, welcome back to the Conversion Clinic. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I personally detect BS link swaps. And to go through it, if you're ever in this situation where you've got someone reaching out to you and saying, hey, I'd love to like add a link to your site. And in exchange, I've got some partner websites over here that you can do the same to. You can add a link to their you know, website. And so I've been doing this for years and I've done a few of these quite successfully. And I've built up my SEO around this kind of idea. And so every now and then I will get an offer that looks really legit and really good and their partner sites seem legit. And I'm gonna go through my process and how I quickly determine whether or not it's worthwhile or makes sense for me to do it. Okay, this might be different for you. I'm just gonna show you my process. This guy, I'll, I'll blur out some of the information, but he comes from a very big website, right? From an SEO standpoint, they're huge. And he works obviously for the, the content team to build up their links. And he's saying like, you know, let's do an exchange. Let's do this thing. I'm like, yeah, cool. Happy to explore this. What do you have in mind sort of thing? And then he's like, okay, well, here's one of your blog posts. Can you please insert this, um, you know, this link to, to our tool? And I'm like, yeah, sweet, that looks cool. And then he's like, okay, well, here's my partner websites for Link Exchange. You can see all this kind of stuff, right? So he gives me a few links, and now my job is to be like, go to their blog articles or their service pages to see how I can link back to my website in a way that makes sense. Now, there's a lot of speculation around this. John Mueller's got a big opinion around manipulating rankings, and there's a lot of things that people saying, don't do this, it's bad, but there's a big gray area as you can see. Um, and really, I've been doing this successfully for years, and I only do it when it makes sense for my website. So as long as one of his partner websites are legit and they seem good, and I can like find a place on one of their blogs to like insert a link back to my website in some way, I'll do it and it works for me okay so let's let's go through it i'll show you my process so i'm going to check out these links so let's go to this one copy link address i'm just going to narrate this thing i don't even know how this video is going to go let's just do it so first thing i do in hrefs is i'll probably just go through all locations just to quickly have a look now i'll I, i'm just trying to look for anything that looks freaking weird right so what i think is weird so we've got 9,700 referring domains, and out of those, we've got 270,000 backlinks. So that already looks weird to me. Let's, so if I take a calculator, I'm like, okay, well, what's the, what's the math here? So if we go 270,000 divided by 9,700, so divide by this, that divide by that. So on average, each kind of domain, this isn't true i'm just taking the average but each domain pointing to this site is is sending around 27 links on average 28 links nearly and so that that's not entirely true there's a median and a mean and all that kind of stuff but already that looks freaking weird as hell like that's not normal for a typical website to have that many links from one domain pointing there so that already looks suspicious as fuck so what i'm gonna do is now i'll have a look at okay well you know they've got 4,900 keywords that they're ranking for, and they've only got 13 in the top three positions. So that looks weird as fuck, because usually if I would see someone with this many dom referring domains, I would expect way more in the top three positions. That's just my opinion. So I don't actually take the domain rating into consideration here, because a lot of people can bypass this and skip, skip the process, and it doesn't mean a whole lot to me. What matters to me what i'm looking for is how many in the top three and how much value is their traffic so their traffic out of all this they look super fancy they look like they've been around for a while but they're only worth 97 bucks in traffic value obviously this isn't 100 accurate this is just hrefs kind of you know predictors so i'm like what the hell like this isn't good and then i just go to the website and have a look if they're relevant to me that's the third check i do are they relevant to me uh can i link back to my website in some way but these are the first checks that I do. So I already know that that's weird. And I'll just go deeper, right? I'll, I'll go into their top 13 keywords here and I'll go into their, their traffic. They get 932 people coming to their site, but is it relevant to me? Like, let's have a look. Download buddy, stories down. What the fuck are these? Like, does that look relevant to my audience for people looking for digital marketing advice? No. So this is a spammy as website. Like, what the fuck? And I'll go into it. Like, let's have a look. Okay, mostly from Pakistan. A lot of their organic keywords. India, Bangladesh. Is that where my audience are? No, my audience are in Australia, United States, United Kingdom, and some in Europe. So obviously, this is terrible. Why would I want to link from this place? 
right? So the next one, we go into review and prep. Let's have a look. Same thing. You just go through, go back to their like overview area. 37 domain rating, 10,000 keywords. Okay. 26 in the top three. So that looks all right. And then nine, nearly a thousand dollars rankings. Um, in, in value. So 730 domains referring, 2,000 links. Doesn't look too bad, you know, that's probably an average of one to three links per domain. Then we'd go deeper. Let's have a look. Like construction manager job, architects. Do you think that based on their most performing links that they have with the highest value, do you think this has anything to do with digital marketing, like cybersecurity versus cloud computing? I don't think so. I don't think this is a necessarily a great link for me to go for. I could potentially do it and do it as a, a throwaway, a once off, but looking at my traffic and the value of my traffic and quality versus what he's offering me in this email, it's not equal. I'm the one losing out on this deal, not him. So then you just keep going through. Like it's literally the same process for me. And you know, some people might argue, look, do it. They've got a high domain rating. You need to build up your authority anyway. But like, I just don't take those risks. And over the years, I ha I've been very calculated with the way that I do these kind of things. I just think, you know, if I were a Google engineer and I found this, this link suspicious as fuck, would I penalize my own website if that were the case? In this case, you know, you go through these checks and you're like, yeah, in that case you would, in that case you wouldn't, whatever. And you just do it by that uh, instance. And my website's doing pretty well. You can look at my website. You can go on Hrefs, see how we're doing. Um, I walk the talk in a lot of ways. But I just want to like educate you because I follow this exact process. I'm going through like seeing the value of the links, seeing like the most, the top pages, what are they doing? So this one might be relevant, but all of the audience are in Bangladesh by the looks of it and India. And so um, what I would typically do is be like, okay, well this one I might get a link from. It seems like they're, they've got some relevant traffic, but their traffic's nowhere even close to mine. Mine at the time of this video is around 14 grand. Um, in traffic value. So if I were to get one of these, I would expect at least like two or three more of these to make up for my one, you know, because my the value of mine is a lot more and a lot more concentrated high value traffic. So you gotta weigh up these kind of things and see, is it apples for apples here? Are they trying to like sway you uh, with their domain ratings and things like that? Are they trying to sway you with their like high numbers if they do have them? Just dig deeper and call their bullshit on it. So I hope this video was helpful in order to detect BS links for niche edits and things like that. And if you found this video helpful, if you've got any questions, leave comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.